Hi, hi. My name is Mobi. I'm an upcycle coach. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for staying with us. If you are new here, I would like you to subscribe, like, share, and comment. If you are returning back, thank you for always coming back. Yes, today's video, I'm going to be showing you my upcycle ironing items. Yes, all the things that I use for on my ironing boards, ranging from your breast and um, booster presser, your corset presser, yes, your hip presser, and so forth. I'm going to be showing you what I use and how you can easily upcycle what you need to get what you want in your workspace so if this is something that you would like to know or um, learn i would like you to come with me yes so these are the list of things that i have here i have one two three four and five these i call this corset presser i use this to iron my corsets this are my sometimes i also use it to iron my bustier but usually i use it for the corsets and this is my bustier presser i use it majorly for my bustier areas and this is my heat presser you can see the, the shape i'm still going to come to it one after the other i used to iron the heat and this is my shoulder presser i use it to iron my shoulder parts all the other corners that are triangle in nature i use it and this is my pin pouch all of these things are upcycled they are made with, by me so i'm going to take them one after the other and show you how i use them the one is the stair presser the corset presser so i use this thing okay how did i create this if you want me to make a video where i show how i created this piece let me know in the comment section but how i made it is this has a feeling of fabric waste fabric pieces that's what i use to fill up this to have this around effect i first of all created um sew the circle and then fill it up i will show us how i created this in another video if you want it but this i now use stay paper stay or paper gum as we call it to now wrap it up to let it not um fall down or press in when i'm using it so that's how i created this the process of ironing this in clothes, uh, I'm going to show you in a video how I, I use this. The next is this beautiful, next is this beautiful shoulder presser. I use this thing to iron um, shoulder areas or areas that have angles that the uh, iron will not reach. So I use it to put it on it to iron the areas. You can see the way I sewed it. I first of all created a, uh, a box. Then I fill it up with fabric waste. That's how it got to be. The next one is my heat presser. Can see the shape. This is a game changer. It helps me to iron my hips so well. It's such a way that there's no wrinkles, no squeeze and all. Just give it that perfect finishing on the sideline of my outfit. It is very, very, very useful. This piece is a game changer. Yes. I will show you how I use this thing to iron on the heat. It is beautiful. Gives a beautiful finish. Next is my bustier presser. This bustier presser is it's an agent of this. <laughs> it's very hard, very strong. So I've filled it up with stay. I use stay to cover it up. This can iron anything, anything, any curve in the in the bustier areas. It gives it this, this nice finish press yes i just i love this i just love it the way it's sitting can sit in any position you want it to be so this is a must have in your ironing table and this is my upcycled pin pouch you can see that i just use the fabric to create then i have a a very long um, hard surface here a carton on the down that prevents this needle from coming over through this when I'm wearing it, my wrist area like so. Yeah, 
this is an elastic I put by the side to do this. All of these here are game changers. They are must have in your workshop. In your ironing table, you must have this to help you achieve the results you're looking for in your clothes. The beautiful thing about it is that it is upcycled. You can create it by yourself if you don't have the resources to buy them. They are already made, they are already in the market. But if you don't have, just upcycle, create your own, create your own by yourself, and you'll be good to go. I hope this video was helpful. If this video was helpful, please comment below. If you're going to be creating something like this, comment below, like and share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for coming. See you in my next video. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.